Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, good morning. I uh, just want to give you all an update on the shop. Everything's going on. We're full swing in uh, the middle of deer season right now. Um, as I've told you all in other videos, I do um, I use beagles to clean uh, my own heads that I get in, but I still do the boiling process uh, for some of the processors I work for. Uh, they are only seasonally open and require a quicker turnaround time. So. I just want to give you all an update on what's going on and uh, where the how the beetles are doing, um, how the degreasing tank's doing, and uh, kind of show you all what we got here. So I'll uh, get the camera turned around and show you what we got going on. So first, I wanted to show you all my beetle enclosures. Um, I think on my last video, I showed you all these uh, windows I put in. They're pre-cut pieces of plexiglass that I bought at Home Depot, and I bought these self-tapping metal screws to put them in. Uh, makes it a lot easier, especially when it's uh, colder. You don't want to um, the heat to escape um, so that's working pretty good and then the lights I put in um, I've also bought those at Home Depot it's like a strip light and I've got it ran over here and plugged in um, if you want to know about the, the heating system I got another video completely on that and on the ink birds uh, right there um, I will say that the uh, ink birds are working really good um, haven't had any problems at them at all, and it's really helped the production of my beetles. Uh, it's kept them um, uh, cleaning the skulls really quick, uh, having that warmer temperature in there. Um, as you can tell, we've got the uh, um, other, a little bit bigger freezer going. Uh, so, got a couple heads in here as well. I put these little uh, pieces of wood in there to hang the heads up, and as you can see, when the heads are hung up, um, this is a pretty good sized deer, but when they're uh, hung up in there, the beetles can't get to them and they'll you know, exit slowly. I've noticed it takes me about five to six days to really get off the skull completely. That's with me helping them. Uh, and then as you can see, uh, that, that skull right there is completely clean. It's been in there for several days. It needs to be brought up and uh, hung up also. Uh, the beetles, both these, uh, the, the, the colony in this black enclosure I'm guessing I have about uh, probably six to eight thousand in there and then the, the white one I probably have uh, uh, probably less than five thousand I'm thinking but they're both cleaning skulls in about 24 to 36 hours but I leave them in there um, longer than that just to be extra sure uh, probably I probably leave them there about three days normally um, these these guys are got a head in there they're finishing up too also have a log on the front of for my degreasing tank and for the beetles. I just uh, log when I put the head in, also log when I hang it up for the beetles to get out of the head, and then I have another log for my degreasing tank over there. So uh, I just made a video on the degreasing tank. Um, nothing's really changed on it. It's still rocking and rolling just fine. Um, these heads right here, actually, I put them in there to soak, and I'm gonna move those over the, to the degreasing tank probably today. Uh, so. That's going well, and uh, the ink bird on that one's going well, is uh, doing really good. Um, also, no problems. Um, so, let me show y'all what we got going on inside the shop. So, uh, we've got those heads that were finished up. I'm waiting on plaques. Uh, there was a problem with the order. Those should have already been taken to the process that I work for. And then all these whitetail heads right here and that one axis deer are all for a processor that we work for. Um, going to be whitening those today and then that longhorn right there uh, is one of my customers that one will not be cleaned with the beetles um, I don't think I can fit it in there even once I remove the uh, the horn sheaths off of it it still won't fit in there so uh, we're probably going to have to simmer that one and power wash it uh, as I want to show you all one thing on uh, these enclosures <clears throat> right now I've, this is the output hole um, so the the fan is pushing air in, which I don't know if I like that or not. I may end up changing that setup eventually, but right now it's pushing air in, sucking air in right here, and then pushing it through here and then into the enclosure. And then it's coming out on this side. Same thing on this enclosure. I've got those uh, pieces of cardboard there to kind of shut off the airflow a little bit and hopefully keep some of the heat in the enclosures. But uh, if, if you wanted to, um, I've had a lot of people ask me about venting my enclosures outside. Um, the smell from the, the beetles to me really isn't that bad. It's a different smell, but it's not like, like macerating a head or something. Um, 
So what I uh, what I do is just let it vent right into the shop. But if you wanted to vent it outside, it would be super easy. Um, you would just need another piece of this duct right here. This is the rigid, more rigid, like aluminum duct. I don't recommend that. It breaks really easy. Um, going forward, I'd only use this. This is like a dryer duct, and it moves a lot easier. So if you bang up against it, it won't break it. You could easily take another piece of duct like this or a couple pieces and come out of this hole right here and then vent it outside, you know, wherever you wanted to go with it outside. Uh, that would be um, a super easy thing to do. So um, if that ever, you know, if the smell ever does become an issue, uh, that's definitely what I'll be doing. So here is the outside front of my shop. Uh, this shop, we built it underneath the carport. Uh, see a security camera there. Uh, so it's a 15 by 15 shop and we have really outgrown it. Uh, so we're looking into adding on. I'll show you all that here in a minute. But uh, so we were bowling heads last night out here and power washing. Um, we've had a ton of rain as you can see in the background. There's water standing everywhere. I mean, it was raining last night while we were out here working, so we uh, chose to do it underneath the uh, carport here. Uh, got our <clears throat> camper out. Um, got a video on that the first time we took it camping, but uh, my kids got drawn for a whitetail hunt at one of the local state parks, so we're going to be loading up and heading out in a little less than a week, so I'm going to make a video about that as well. So I'll take you around the back of the shop and show you what we got back there. So this is the back of the shop. Um, about, I built this little pad right here uh, to work on and uh, uh, power wash, do you know pretty much anything I need to do back here. Uh, I built this a couple years ago and it worked well for a while, but um, a lot of those little pavers have gotten loose and they rock back and forth while you're working on them. So after uh, deer season's over, I'm actually gonna build, uh, I'm gonna make a concrete pad right here and put a drain in like right in the middle of it and then drain it out to that ditch right there, out by the street. And that way, like when I empty my degreasing tank or whatever, um, or back here power washing all the, everything will go out that way to the, to the main ditch out there. All right guys, so what I was saying earlier is uh, we're definitely running low on room in this little shop here. So uh, what we're thinking about doing is adding a 20 foot container right here. Um, it'll be going uh, back like that way. Um, that would add us a lot of extra storage room. Uh, the only downfall is it's kind of on the front side of our property, so uh, I don't, it may look kind of tacky, but we're thinking we, if we paint it, it won't look too bad. Uh, but that'll give us a lot of storage room. and we'll probably move the beetles and um, all the, uh, pretty much all the taxidermy related stuff over there, and then this shop would be just for working in, and then that the container wouldn't hold everything. Uh, so that's what we're thinking right now. All right, everybody. I hope y'all like this update video. Um, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I got a whole bunch of other videos I plan on bringing out. I'm going to start really documenting everything that we do and all the processes. Uh, it, I feel like uh, we've gotten a lot of good positive feedback and picked up a lot of subscribers. I feel like uh, uh, people uh, want to hear how we do things. Uh, I've said it every video. I'm no expert. Um, I'm just learning as I go. I'm just trying to share what I what I know and and, and uh, I. I um, welcome any feedback from y'all, uh, anything I should do different, um, uh, please leave it in the comments, um, and hit that subscribe button, we'll, uh, keep bringing you videos.